Well, you can control anger by keeping your mouth shut, by going outside and running around the block, by stepping into a cold shower. I mean, you can do all sorts of things other than just blasting out and polluting the world with your anger. But what we really want to ask is how to overcome it. Anger is desire thwarted. I want things to be a certain way. I don't get them the way I want. I have a tantrum about it. We will continue to do that as long as we think it's working for us. Continuing to indulge this way of expressing yourself feels more attractive to you than the effort required to change it. It's what I call the preference for the known misery. So we have to start working at it from its source. Why do I think things have to be the way I want them to be? Why do I think that having an explosive declaration of how wrong it is, is actually going to change circumstances at all. So how does anger help us to avoid other things that we're going to have to face? When you are calm and free from it, it behooves you to put the energy out to try to explore the real source of what's actually upsetting you. Somebody catalyzes your response, but they don't cause it. If you really want to overcome your anger, and not merely stop expressing it. You have to find out why have I become angry in the first place.